nine changes of the watery star hath been the shepherd's note since we have left our throne without a burthen. Time has long again would be filled up, my brother, with our thanks. And yet we should, for perpetuity, go hence in debt. And therefore, like a cipher, yet standing in rich place, I multiply with one we thank you, many thousands more that go before it. Stay your thanks a while, and pay them when you part. Sir, that's tomorrow. I am questioned by my fears of what may chance or breed upon our absence that may blown of sneaping winds at home, which is to say, this is put forth too truly. Besides, I have stayed to tie your royalty. We are tougher, brother, than you would put us to it. No longer stay. One seven night longer. Very sooth, tomorrow. We'll part the time between us then, and in that I'll no gain say. Press me not, I beseech you, so. There is no tongue that moves, none, none of the world, so soon as yours could win me. My affairs do even drag me homeward, which to hinder were in your love a, a whip to me. My stay to you a charge and trouble, to save both. Farewell, our brother. Tongue-tied, our queen, speak you. I had thought, sir, to have held my tongue until you have drawn oaths from him not to stay. You, sir, charge him too coldly. Tell him you are sure all in Bohemia as well. Say this to him, he's beat from his best ward. Well said, Hermione. To tell, he longs to see his son more strong. But let him say so then, and let him go. Or let him swear so, and he shall not stay. We'll thwack him hence with distaffs. Yet of your royal presence all adventure, the bar of a week. When at Bohemia you take my lord, I'll give him my commission to let him there a month behind the jest, prefixed for his pardon. Yet, good deed, Leontes, I love thee not a jar of the clock behind what lady she her lord. You'll stay. No, madam. Nay, but you will. I may not, verily. Verily. You put me off with limber vows. But I, though you should seek to unsphere the stars with oaths, should rather say, sir, not going. Verily, you shall not go. A lady's verily is as potent as a lord's. Will you go yet? Force me to keep you as a prisoner, not like a guest, so that you shall pay your fees when you depart and save your thanks. How say you, my prisoner or my guest? By your dread verily, one of them you shall be. <coughs> your guest then, madam. <laughs> to be your prisoner should import offending, which is for me less easy to commit than you to punish. Not your jailer then, but your kind hostess. Come. I'll question you of my lord's tricks and yours when you were boys. You were pretty lordlings then. We were, fair queen. Two lads that thought there was no more behind but such a day tomorrow as today, and to be boy eternal. Was not my lord the barrier wag of the two? We were as twinned lambs that did frisk in the sun and bleat the one at the other. We knew not the doctrine of ill-doing, nor dreamed that any did. Had we pursued that life, and our weak spirits ne'er been higher reared with stronger blood, we should have answered heaven boldly, not guilty. By this we gather you have tripped since. Oh, my most sacred lady, temptations have then since been born to us, for in those unfledged days was my wife a girl, and your precious self had then not crossed the eyes of my young playfellow. Priest to boot! Of this make no conclusion, lest you say your queen and I are devils. Yet, go on. Is he one yet? He'll stay, my lord. At my request, you would not. Hermione, my dearest, thou hast never spoken to a better purpose. Never. Never but once. What? Have I twice said well? When was it before? I prithee tell me. Crams with praise and makes us fat as tame things. One good deed dying tongueless. It's folly, it's tenderness, and make itself a pastime to harder bosoms. My brother, are you so fond of your own princess as we do seem to be of our prince? If at home, sir, she's all my exercise, my mirth, my matter. Now, my sworn friend, and then mine enemy. My parasite, soldier, statesman, all. She makes a July's day short as December, and with her varying childness cures in me thoughts that would thick my blood. So stand this squire with me. We two will walk and leave you to your graver. <coughs> Tis strange. Methinks my favour here begins to walk. Not speak. Oh, good day, Camilla. Hail, most royal, sir. What's the news in the court? None rare, my lord. The king hath on him such a countenance that he has lost some province and a region loved as he loves himself. So speeds from me and leaves me to consider what is breeding that changes thus his manners. I dare not know, my lord. How? Dare not? Do not. 
Do you know and dare not? Be intelligent to me, tis thereabouts, but to yourself, what you do know, you must, and cannot say you dare not. Good Camilla, your change of complexions are to me a mirror, which shows me mine changed too. There is a sickness, which puts some of us in distemper, but I cannot name the disease, and it is caught of you that yet are well. How? Caught of me? Make me not sighted like the basilisk. I have looked on thousands who have sped the better by my regard, but killed none so. Good Camilla, if you know aught which does behove my knowledge, they're off to be informed, imprisoned not in ignorant concealment. I may not answer. Sickness caught of me, and yet I will. I must be answered. Dost thou hear, Camilla? I conjure thee by all the parts of man which honor does acknowledge, whereof the least is not this suit of mine, that thou declare what incidency thou dost guess of harm is creeping towards me, how far off, how near, which way to be prevented, if to be, and if not, how best to bear it. I will tell you, since I am charged in honor by him that I think honorable, therefore mark my counsel, which even must be so swiftly followed as I mean to utter it, for both yourself and me cry lost, and so good night. On good Camilla. I am appointed him to murder you. By whom, Camilla? By the king. For what? He thinks, nay, with all confidence he swears, as if he, as if he had seen it or been an instrument to vice you to it, that you have touched his queen forbiddenly. Oh, turn then my freshest reputation to a saviour that may strike the dullest nostril where I arrive, and my approach be shunned, nay, hated too, worse than that greatest infection that e'er was heard or read. How should this grow? I know not, but I'm sure tis safer to avoid what's grown than question how tis born. Therefore, if you dare trust my honesty, which is locked in this trunk which you shall bear along in pond, away tonight. Your followers I will whisper to the business, and will by twos and threes and seven posterns clothe them of the city. For myself, I'll put my fortunes to your service. I do believe thee. I saw his heart in his face. Give me thy hand, and thy place shall still neighbor mine. This jealousy is for a precious creature, as she's rare. Must it be great, and as his person's mighty, must it be violent. And as he does conceive, he is dishonored by a man which e'er professed to him, why in that his revenges must be made more bitter. Fear or shades me. Good expedition be my friend. Comfort the gracious queen, part of his theme, but nothing of his ill-tained suspicion. Come, sir, away. <laughs> nature's bastards. Of that kind are rustic gardens barons, and I care not to get slips of them. Wherefore, gentle maiden, do you neglect them? For I've heard it said there is an art in which their piedness shares with great creating nature. Mm. So there be, yet nature's made better by no means, but ma nature makes that means. So over that art which you say adds to nature is an art that nature makes. <coughs> you see, sweet maid, we marry a gentler scion to the wildest stock, and may conceive a bark of baser kind by bud of nobler race. So over that art which you say adds to nature is an art that nature makes, and this is an art which does mend nature, change it rather, but the art itself is nature. So it is. Then make your garden rich in gillivores, and do not call them bastards. You're welcome. Soft swain, a while, and beseech you, have you a father? I have, but what of him? No, see of this? He neither does nor shall. Uh, methinks the father is at the nuptial of his son a guest that best becomes the table. Pray once more. Is not your father grown incapable of reasonable affairs? Is he not stupid with age and altering rooms? Can he speak, hear, no man for man, dispute his own estate? 
Why is he not bedridden again, does nothing but what he did being childish? No, good sir. He has his health and ampler strength indeed than most have of his age. Methinks, if this be so, you offer him a wrong something unfilial. Reason my son should choose himself a wife. The, 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 the father, all his joy is nothing else but fair posterity, should hold some counsel in such a business. Sir, I yield all this, but for some other reasons, my grave sir, which tis not fit for you to know. I not acquaint my father of this business. Let him know it. He shall not. For thee, let him. No, he must not. Let him, my son. He shall not need to grieve with knowing of thy choice. Come, come, he must not. Mark our contract. Mark your divorce, young sir, <laughs> whom, daughter, I dare not call. Thou art too base to be acknowledged. Thou wast skipped as there that thus affixed a, a, a sheep hook and you. Old traitor, I am sorry that by hanging thee, I can shorten thy life one week. And you, fresh piece of excellent witchcraft, who a force must know, the royal fool thou copest with, I'll have thy beauty scratched with rise and made more homely than thy state. And for thee, fond girl, if ever I may know, thou dost but sigh that thou no more shall see this knack, as ever I meant thou shalt, will bar thee from succession. Not hold thee of our blood, no, not our kin. Far then do Kalian off, mark thou my words. And you, enchantment, were there enough a herdsman? Yea, him too that makes himself, but for our honour therein, unworthy thee. If ever henceforth thou these rural latches to her entrance open, or hope her body more with thy embraces, I will devise a death as cruel for thee as thou art tender to it.